What is a program? So what's a program? A computer program is a set of instructions that teach your computer to do things. It's like telling your friend what to do when they're trying to solve a problem. The instructions are written in so-called code, which is just language for computers. There are lots of different programming languages, but they all have the same basic structure instructions for data and instructions for actions. Most importantly, programs usually have instructions for loops and conditional statements. These are like when you give your friend advice on what they should do next if there's more than one possible way they could go from where they are now. The first step in writing code is figuring out which language will work best for your problem. This might take some time, but it's worth it because not all languages are created equal. Once you pick a language, you'll have to figure out how it works by reading some tutorials and playing around with it yourself. After that, the next steps would be finding a problem that needs solving or making up one of your own. These days there are hundreds of problems waiting to be solved online or in books that would be great for kids like you. Now it's time for me to tell you about my favorite programming language, Scratch. Scratch is kind of like Legos with Scratch. Kids can build their own games and animations by dragging blocks together on their computer screen, or by using graphic tiles called sprites. Scratch has lots of great features designed specifically for kids. There are touchable blocks so young fingers can easily interact with the program, there's no difficult syntax or punctuation, and Scratch has an online community with lots of other people who use Scratch who might have some good advice on how to get started creating software yourself. A program is a set of instructions that tell a computer what to do. A computer needs a program in order to do anything. So, for example, if you're playing a video game on your computer, the game is loaded with rules that the video game follows, these are called instructions. And these rules are written in a special language that only the computer can understand. This language is called code and there are a lot of different types of code, some languages are even human readable. But for today, we're going to learn about high-level programming languages like Python and JavaScript. Once you know how to read code and what it does, then you can make your own programs. What is the difference between input and output? Input is when we tell our computer what we want it to do. For example, if I tell the computer to print Hello World then I'm giving it input. The computer processes that input and then prints out Hello World. The output is when the computer gives us something it does. For example, if I tell the computer to print Hello World then the computer will first process my input and then give me an output of Hello World. What's your favorite output? What does a computer use for input and output? A computer uses input devices to gather information from the outside world. A keyboard, mouse, touch screen, or microphone are all examples of input devices. The mouse is a hand-operated device that has a ball that rolls around on the table when you move it. This makes you able to move around the screen with your cursor. The keyboard lets you type on it just like a regular keyboard so you can enter text into the computer. You can also use your voice to control some computers with a microphone. The output devices let you see what the computer has been doing or create something that you want to show other people. A monitor, television, projector or printer are all examples of output devices. The monitor is what most people have now and they're just like TVs but without color and sound so that they're easier to look at for long periods of time. One way we can make them pretty is by changing the background colors or putting pictures on them with a software called Art Programs. You can also use projectors to show movies or pictures off onto walls in school halls or in movie theaters if they want to show something that's not on TV at that time. You can also print out things if you want them on paper instead of just looking at them on your screen. What are the different types of software programs? So, what are software programs? A software program is a list of instructions that help you get things done on your computer. Anyone can make a software program. You don't have to be a professional programmer. All you need is a computer and some time. And if you don't know how to use the programming language, there are lots of ways for you to learn it online for free. The first step is figuring out what kind of program you want to make. There are lots of different types of programs. Games, photo editors, graphics designers, music makers, and much more. 
Once you figure out what kind of program you want to make we can go over the basics on how to make it. What is a compiler and what does it do? A compiler is a program that translates programming language into machine code. It does this by taking the written code and converting it to low-level instructions that the computer can read and understand. It also checks for errors before running the code. Compilers are necessary because not every programming language can be understood by the computer directly. The compiler takes care of all of these tasks so that you can write your program without worrying about how it will run on a computer. This way you can focus on what you want the program to do, rather than how you are going to get it done.